Hello Aquarius Twin Flames, this is Jennifer and I'm here to do a channel message, a reading, and a healing for you if it comes through. And I'm also going to tell you really quickly as I shuffle about my Black Friday sales. So on Fiverr I have um, Twin Flame gig and if you buy the standard or premium of that you get a free twin flame check this is through december 1st and also if you want buy a two question tarot card reading um <clears throat> which you'd have to contact me for an offer um you get a free twin flame ring report so either of those things you get a, a free twin flame check which is a $30 value. And if you buy a three question tarot card reading, you also get um, my, to be a part of my um, ceremony that I'm doing on the solstice for, it's just basically a saging ceremony, a healing ceremony that will be on the 21st of December. And then if, you buy a full spirit release therapy, which is my most comprehensive twin flame service. Clears all the negative energy from the seven layers. <clears throat> and um, you get a free karma clearing session, which is a $200 value. You would need to contact me for that also. Okay, so Aquarius, what's going on? We are getting ready for the shift of Pluto and Saturn into Sagittarius and this huge um, shift that's going to be happening where, you know, Aquarius and air signs will be basically the dominant force over the next 200 years. So it's a very, very exciting time. Oh, your cards are going everywhere. Um... For Aquariuses, they are showing me like a pie. Um, they're showing me family, but then they're also showing me like you getting your share of the pie. Oh, my head's starting to hurt. Maybe you're dealing with oh, something like dividing things up or you trying to figure out how you're going to kind of make more Make more coin is what I'm getting. Um, look at that. I know this isn't what this means, but it's very much in alignment with what I was just saying. It's also telling you not to be fooled by things that look really pretty on the outside, but are spiritually void on the inside, right? It's a card seven, and it really wants you to be aware of your choices right now, choosing things that fulfill you on a spiritual level. Yeah, investing, investing correctly. You have two seven cards here and then in the emperor. I'm really getting this feeling of like this pie kind of being made of gold and your that's not what I want. Um, and, you know, your ability right now to really create, I mean, anything that you want. <sighs> your person doesn't know what the hell's going on. Jeez. High priestess in reverse over the emperor. Are you not talking to your person or what is going on? You want that one too. Okay. I don't know. Your person doesn't want to walk away and your person doesn't want to be sad. You know, <laughs> I 
I am getting the sense that you are in a little bit more of your masculine energy right now. Maybe you're really the one driving this forward. Maybe you're the one chasing right now. Because with them, I just get this very watery, serene, 5D, you know, guarded heart energy. They're kind of like floating in the sea of emotions and not really knowing which way is, is up. I mean, they may be disconnected from source. You're moving into something that's making you really happy. They're going through a transition. <clears throat> you may be just living the good life, you know? I get them more in their feminine energy and you more in your masculine. So maybe you're working on balancing because you seem to have grown you seem to have grown through discipline and setting boundaries and expecting the best. I do get the sense you've really done your work. You've really turned over this new leaf and you've really understood like how to enjoy your life. So a lot of cards of depth, like the colors are very deep. And then, you know, I just get the sense you're not going to be rushed. You're going to wait till the time is right to, you know, kind of unleash your heart. And the time may be right soon because you have the Knight of Cups with the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Man, that Seven of Cups has really been coming out a lot. Yeah, like, there's some not wanting to be... You know, you're telling it like it is. That's how I get this. And if it's not right, you're moving to invest somewhere else because I don't feel like you're going to stay in a relationship that isn't serving you right now. I don't think you're going to be bound by anyone or anything that isn't serving you. And I don't think you're even going to suffer any fools about it. Like, I think if I don't think you're giving up a lot of explanation about what you're doing, because you're not seeing them in a place where they can really. I mean, you do see the mirroring aspect, but they're not, they're not co-creating with the universe right now. The universe wants them to step forward. Clarify the universe. Yeah. Tower. Clarify four of pentacles. And I feel three of swords here. Empress in reverse. Yeah, they are not birthing their creations. Justice and death again. Okay. With the sun on the bottom of the deck. They're going through a transformation. So you may have been waiting for them 
to get a divorce or do what you know is right. There's a lot of Libra and Scorpio energy in that pile, in the top row. Um, <clears throat> I have a feeling that they didn't walk away from another relationship or a marriage and this caused you to really step into your power and know your worth. And now that you have maybe moved on, they will, they're um, going to go through this transformational energy because they weren't working with you. You know, you wanted to build something more and they just guarded them. They guarded themselves and they did not invest where they should have. And now you... You know, you know, you know what you have to offer and you know that you have options and you are ready for some, you know, I'm going to call that sexual healing. Um, yeah, I mean, you're focused and you're ready. You are ready. You're at the edge, and if they're not seeing the divine nature of this relationship, well, you know, that's their loss is what I am getting for you. Okay. So let's look at, I guess I'm not really seeing any advice. They're putting you in quite a place of power. Um, any advice for Aquarius right now? Actually, don't get anything holding you back. Well, they want you to wait. They want you to wait for your wish to come true. That's what this is. So do you get the sense that... It's not time for you to move forward quite yet. Yeah. Yeah, because I do get the sense, you know, you're maybe ready to settle for a soulmate. And um, that's going to complicate things quite a bit. So a lot of very, very focused energy for you. If you do decide to go with the soulmate, just be aware that that is... Choosing another timeline that will delay the progress of this relationship for you coming into union with your twin flame. Okay? That's what they want you to know. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. I am not someone who usually says to wait, but these cards are pretty clear that it's not the right time right now. You can choose to go and have something else will they do their work or you can you know I get the sense that they just they want you to be patient because this will happen in divine timing I'm sorry to say those words <laughs> um, but now is not the time and again don't be fooled by something that looks really good but isn't spiritually satisfying, all right? <sighs> and just remember, you know, they want me to show you this heart of gold. That's, that's what you have. You have a heart of gold, and you don't need anyone else to validate that for you. Um, things are coming along. It's just pretty slow right now. There's a big transition for your person that's happening so be patient if you'd like to work with me on these energies this is what I do and I'm happy to help you um just contact me on Fiverr and I wish you all the best thank you for your work 
as a twin, it helps all of humanity, and I really appreciate you um, and the work you're doing. Bye for now.